On this week's edition of WTHS, we present you the new 2021 Homecoming Queen. Also, we talked to some members of Structure about their first performance this school year. Welcome back to this week's edition of WDHS. I'm Paola Farias. The homecoming game took place last Friday. The homecoming mates were presented during halftime and the moment everyone has been waiting for. And This year's newly announced homecoming queen, Mia Wilson, says she could not be more honored to represent Tupelo High School. I was actually like really shocked. I did not expect it at all. But when I heard my name, I was like very thankful and grateful. Mia says she is beyond blessed to be surrounded by so many friends and family members that have supported her along every step of the way. When I got to see all my friends and family afterwards, that was just a really happy moment. It was really fun. Mia has a few words she would like to share with all of her fellow classmates for allowing her to have this opportunity. I would like to say thank you so much and that this is probably going to be like one of my best memories ever and I'm just so thankful for everyone in my class and everyone who voted for me and that made the night so special. I'm Mary Allen Wolf, WTHS News. Thanks Mary Allen. Getting your hair done, doing your nails and putting the dress on are just a few of the steps for the homecoming mates. We're going to take a look at what these girls do the day of the event. So y'all, this is us dress shopping. It is September the 6th. This is like probably the second store we have been to. Ever since we found out, we found out September 4th. Mm -hmm. So, here we are. I'll show y'all the finished product at the very end. It's the night before the parade. The parade is tomorrow, September 23rd. And that's on Thursday, the day before the actual big night. <laughs> hey y'all, it's Aaliyah and I'm here with my escort Zah hey, and we're leading off the juniors in the parade. And here's our lovely car. Like, 
about to take a group picture with all the grades. So, um, it's almost homecoming time. Ooh, the light is hitting us. And yeah. All right, they put us on the field and they're about to do the pledge when everyone gets set up. And now we're just waiting. No day, no blessings, and I'm feeling good. Head high when I'm walking through my neighborhood. Walk with me, talk with me. No darkness in my area, as you can see. I'm doing good, doing great, doing fine. You a hater, not today, go get in line. Great, it is all about pursuing what you want. The football team pursued success once again last Friday, playing against Grenada. Maddie has an update in sports. Hi, Tupelo High School. I'm Maddie James with this week's sports. Tonight, football travels to Oxford at 7. This past week was our homecoming game. The Wave faced off against Grenada, coming out victorious with a score of 35-6. to The Wave started strong in the first quarter with a score of 14 after Grenada's touchdown and missed field goal secured them six points. At the half, the Wave scored seven more points, placing them at a score of 21. There was a final touchdown for the Wave brought on by sophomore Quay Middlebrooks, leading the score with 34-6. to a final field goal securing the final score at 35-6 and helping Tupelo remain undefeated and becoming 1-0 in the district. Volleyball traveled to Oxford this past Tuesday for a game at 5-6. The Lady Wave came out victorious with the 3-0 decision. Swim also hosted a meet this past Tuesday with their varsity boys and girls placing first in their events. Tupelo Cross Country hosted the Tupelo Invitational this past Saturday with the varsity girls placing second and the varsity boys placing third. Top finishers for the girls team are Brooklyn Morgan, Olivia Barksdale, Shelby Benson, Kaylee Wade, and Maddie James. Top finishers for the boys team were Jaheim Bridges, Taylor Brown, Robert Hooper, Bryce Weaver, and Harrison Wampler. Cross Country also recognized all seniors on both the varsity girls and boys teams. Runners also wore green ribbons to bring awareness to Mental Health Awareness Month. Tupelo Cross Country will have a meet this Saturday at Pontotoc. Band also competed this weekend at Olive Branch. This was the Tupelo High School Band's first competition of the season. The Tupelo Band placed fifth out of 20 bands included in this competition. That's all for this week's sports. Be sure to check back next week for more updates. I'm Maddie James, WTHS Sports Media. Determination and willingness are all it takes to be successful. Talking about determination, the Structures band members also put their best effort forward when it comes to music. Sarah has a story. With guitars tuned, and drums all set, Structure is back and preparing for the new school year. Structure is a group of musicians that practice their desired instrument and perform songs for a wide range of genres. Clay Cordell is a returning Structure member and says he found a passion for performing with others from a young age. I first started music when I was really young. My parents really wanted me to start, but then after a couple years I started to really enjoy myself. And I think what got me started the most was just being able to play with other people like in Structure. Senior Aubrey Meredith credits Structure for helping him build important teamwork skills. It has really helped me with like working with other people and being able to do things as a group and make something as a whole that you can't really do by yourself. As the semester went on, Trison Rainey says that playing with this group has brought him out of his shell and allowed him to improve as a musician. It changed the way how I, how can I, exp I can express the way how I play because when I play, when I used to play like by myself without no one, or I can just play independently and improve, improve until I can play with actual musicians. Miss Smithy believes that the positive effects shown from this class should push more high schools to have an elective such as this one. There, to my knowledge, is, is not another group like this in the state that has a class and that the, the district makes a space for in the day. But we at Tupelo schools have an actual class period dedicated to it. And then we, with after school rehearsals, these guys practice together 13 hours a week. She also gives some tips and advice for any students looking to join next school year. Um, 
Uh, practice a lot, technically. You don't have to be perfect. A lot of people see how good these guys are and think they have to already be that good, but a lot of that comes from being in class every day and, and working together and becoming better all the time. After their first few performances together, the band will continue preparing for their upcoming shows and competition. I'm Sarah Bazell. WTHS News. Thanks, Sarah. We can't wait to hear more from them. Music plays such an important role in people's lives. Emerson Lohr is one of those talented people who is making history. Emma Grace has more updates. With the possibility of a song being released, this week's Behind the Mask features senior Emerson Love. As a senior in high school, Emerson has studied and played music for several years now and continues to grow and explore her talent. Emerson's dad says that music has been a huge part of her life for several years, but she started to take it more seriously in her recent teenage years. You know, I don't, I don't know the exact date or time. I mean, she's always had an interest in um, music in general, you know. But I would say it was probably kind of her late middle school, early high school years. Emerson's parents believe that her home environment and surroundings helped shape her into the musician and artist she is today. With her mom being a singer as well, music has always been an important aspect in her life. But I think the fact that I love music and I was always singing and I would always make the girls um, sing along in the car and we would practice. I mean, this sounds really nerdy, but we would just like sing harmony parts and it was just, it's just been that kind of house. Having grown up around music, Emerson has also developed a talent for songwriting. Emerson describes her songwriting process as unique and often takes inspiration from life around her. So it's really like different each time. Sometimes I'll think of like a chord progression or a lyric that I wanna like base the whole song off of, but I would say they're more of like a poem style. I would say my songs are based off things that happen in my life or just um, different aesthetics that I like, I'll think of when I'm writing them. And just different artists I really like are my inspiration as well. Aside from writing her own songs, Emerson is also a four-year member of Synergy at Tupelo High School. Emerson plays a big role in the show choir group, and she believes that show choir has helped her in her musical career. Um, I feel like show choir has helped me learn how to like sing in a group and be part of um, a vocal group instead of just doing like solo things. Wow, Emerson is such a leader, um, not only in the way that she acts, um, but also in her ability to sing a part that is not the melody. Whether singing around the house or on stage, her parents express how proud they are of her progress. I guess, I mean, as her mom, it's great. It's um, really fun to, um, to see her grow and progress. It's, you know, it makes you feel good that she's, um, when you see someone, you know, she's gifted and talented in that area, so it's neat to see someone using those talents, right? Whether she chooses to pursue music any further after high school or release any music, Emerson believes that music will always continue to be an important part of her life. I think music will always be a big part of my life, whether it's producing my own music or being in a band or whatever it might be. Make sure to follow along with Emerson's journey and any new announcements regarding possible future releases by following her on Instagram at emersonlove.music. This has been Emma Grace Miles, WTHS News. The Magicals had their first preview today. Here's how they sound. That's all we have for this week. Make sure to follow us on our main social media. Thank you for watching this week's edition of WTHS. I'm Paula Ferrius, WTHS News.